The 2008 Land Rover G4 Challenge UK Selections takes place at Land Rover's spiritual home, East North Castle in Hertfordshire. Land Rover have been testing its vehicles at East North for over 40 years and we're better to test not only the latest Discovery 3s in G4 spec, but also the 48 extreme athletes who are hoping to win through to the main event in Mongolia next year. This is just the perfect place to be holding our national selections. Competitors, of course, love being here. The countryside's beautiful and the castle is a magic backdrop. We've got over 50 events over the next three days. Some are driving for sure, but we've got initiative tasks, we've got strength tasks, physical tasks, navigation tasks, the whole gambit of challenges for them to show us how good they are. Amongst the hardcore competitors are a team from Jaguar Land Rover who are doing the challenge just for the fun. We've got 50 competitors here who are looking to be selected for the Land Rover G4 Challenge. Our function here is to test them physically, mentally, see how well they can strategically think, work as teams, work as individuals, and to whittle them down to four people in total. So two guys, two girls, who will make the best team, because the UK want to win this year, okay? They've come close in the past, but they've never taken the jewelry. So this time, we want to make sure that the UK win. So we're looking for the best two guys, the best two girls, and from those four people, make the best team to represent the UK. After the briefing, the competitors get straight into the latest Discovery Freeze for the first challenge, which is finesse driving. Finesse driving is all about the competitors using their skills driving off-road very, very safely and sensibly, hitting all the tennis balls as they go round. We've strategically put them in very complicated places, so they have to think about hitting the balls before they actually get to them, putting the car in exactly the right spot. really good fun, you just sort of had to try and work your way around the tennis balls. Did you hit any trees? No, it didn't hit any trees, which is the good thing, but missed a couple of the balls. We're thinking one of them was actually too low for any of us to hit. A different take on tennis, but it was all right, fine. 40 love, 30 love? Uh, yeah, 30, 40 probably in the end, yeah. Got around most of them, so fairly pleased. I think I missed one, the, the double one, where you had one at each side. I think maybe the lander was a wee bit shorter than <laughs> I expected. <laughs> Reasonably finesse with the driving, I think. Um, he <laughs> Did he strike all the tennis balls? Every one. Clear yeah. round. So, um, good effort. Pretty pleased with that. It's a bit different to my Ford Focus, so uh, very good life so far. Right, enough driving for now. Time for the competitors to get sweaty in the woods with physical ability. You can see just over my shoulder, they're calling it the jungle gym. Mm -hmm. Looks like hell on earth to me. It really looks the same to me, so we're looking <laughs> at the same thing. <laughs> I'm setting up for the challenge. Uh, my special skill is I'm not, I'm not able to think too far ahead. So on this particular activity, I'll just be focusing on, on what I'm doing and not thinking about what has to come on the back of that. This is one of the six activities in the physical um, exercise area. Um, and this is the speed tree climbing. Basically, they've got two attempts. And the fastest attempt is the one that counts. Come on! They've got a ring bell at the top. And as you can see, it's a long way up. Good, that's much better, good. Good. This is a serious strength exercise. There's a lot of technique involved as well. Basically, we've got a triangle of pioneering poles. And as you can see, it's a lot of effort to get the triangle around and getting the technique right of lifting it up and over. This is a pure three minute speed trial. Get the triangle around as many times as they can. What we've got here is a speed running trial. There's a bell down this end, and you see there's a bell at the other end as well. And it's as many times as you can in three minutes, just sprint from end to end. There's different techniques as well. This guy's going wide on all the turns, but there's been other people we've seen bouncing off the trees, keeping the momentum. Um, and that there's an obstacle in the middle there. You may be able to see um, that you can either go over or under, or maybe just round. I'd find it easier for myself going, keep the momentum going rather than stop and start, because uh, more of a build-up. As you can see, all these events are pure lactic build-up. Less like the acid you've got in your legs and your arms for the rest of the events then. Here we've got the seriously physical wheel spin, obviously supporting your weight up on the bar and trying to spin it as fast as possible. This guy's doing really well. This is a top effort. It's real hard work on the legs. And if you can get that spinning, keep that speed in the legs, then yeah, you've got the hang of it. 
Oh, you're going to maintain the face. Got a heavy pioneering pole in the middle there, pivoted round, and you've got to go round as many times as you can in two minutes. Seriously physical, because obviously there's a lot of weight there, and there's also a lot of friction on the central pivot there, so it's a real push. Come on. This is very physical, a lot of upper body strength, a lot of forearm strength, holding onto that rope um, and getting this tire up and down. This, you see the knot in the rope, it's got to go between the two ropes. Um, if the tire touches the ground at all, that's it, game over. So you don't, you don't get any extra points for, uh, for losing that time, you've got to make the most of the time. And there's also feet position on this log on the floor. He's gone for the slippiest option in the middle where everyone else has gone. Could have potentially gone wide, um, but his upper body strength is working it well. 48. Good man. And stop, 49. Well done. Well done, Bruce. He's getting into a rhythm, and the log's a little slippery, so it's pretty hard. And tighten the hand, but it's good. Now, that should have sorted the men from the boys. Where this next challenge might look like a children's playground, but the truth is rather different. Well, this is the initiative zone, and this is the crane, OK? It's called pole position. You use the crane to pick up the, the poles there on the floor. Each one's numbered. The taller ones are the more difficult ones. Using the crane, the competitors, three of them on the crane, pick up the poles and put them on the plinths. The plinths are the same, they're small ones and big ones, each have got points, it's like a bonus multiplier system. So if you put a difficult pole on a difficult plinth, you're going to get more points. And that's really what it's all about. It's not so much working the crane, it's working out how you can get the maximum points for the task. Now it's a three-man job, you've got what's called the slew, which actually twists the crane round, and there's two people on the boom. You've got the main boom arm, which basically is a winch to raise and lower, and then the dipper arm at the front. So a combination of all three will enable you to pick up the pole and put it down. OK, this is an initiative task. Guys have got to build a block out of those pieces on the ground so that it's three by three, interlocking, going up. So it's to test how they operate under pressure. You know, it's fairly straightforward as long as they keep thinking clearly, but as soon as you put time pressure on, sometimes it all gets a bit confused and start throwing blocks around. So it's really to see if they can think logically while still performing. This one is all about working as a team. It's about how they interrelate to each other. You know, they've got to communicate the ideas clearly and keep on top of the task. Well done, well done. Yeah. Well done, boys. Well done, boys. Climbing this incredibly steep hill on a mountain bike is gruelling. What they could have done with is a Discovery 3, which makes this incline look easy. However, they are on Land Rover bikes. Come on, pedal! These are the Land Rover G4 Challenge bikes that we're using for selections. 27 gears. They're a pretty good bike, they're pretty robust. It's quite a basic bike, but we like that because it means it'll have the endurance for the event. And basically, they're going to use the bikes to do, it's about a half an hour endurance race. Ooh. Come on, number 13. They've got a, quite an interesting downhill where they're passing the people who are coming uphill. So, potential for a bit of a fight on the way up. To give the judges a chance to check through the day's competitive results, they arrange a small game of tug of war. However, it wasn't man against man. This time, it was man against machine. The competitors have had a really tough morning. They're going to be absolutely shattered. So we get them all together here. We split them into two groups of 24, and we're going to give them a two and a half ton car, a big rope, and they basically have to pull this car with its handbrake on past the finish line 50 metres behind us. So it's all about teamwork, strength, and just pulling together a, as a unit. And that's it, big hooray for the winners. Happy they may be, but for some of them, it was the end of G4 as the results are announced. Where is Group H? You are staying. Yeah. You are staying. Yeah. You are going home. Really Very sorry, much. but congratulations. So, 48 become 24, and the victors head off for the campsite. <laughs>